In this video, we're going to look at how to solve some equations involving fractions. So let's have a look at this question. We've got solve the equation 23 subtract 2x divided by 5 equals 3. So whenever I was, if I was solving an equation like this, what I would want to do is get rid of this large divide by 5 first of all. So let's times both sides by 5. So if we times both sides by 5, we're going to get, well, times in the left-hand side by 5 gets rid of the divide by 5. So you're just going to be left with 23 subtract 2x equals, and 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, um, If you like thinking about it in terms of bringing the divide by 5 to the other side, you're going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. Okay, uh, Next, now we've got 23 subtract 2x equals 15. So let's get rid of the 23 on this side. So let's take away 23 from both sides of the equation. Taking away 23 from this side of the equation, well, 23 subtract 2x. Well, 23 took away 23 is 0. So you're going to be left with minus 2x. So you're going to get minus 2x equals, and 15 take away 23 is minus 8. Times the whole thing through by minus 1, that would change the signs, so you just change all the signs, so you're going to get 2x equals 8, and divide by 2 it gives you x equals 4. Okay. This equation is x plus 1 divided by 2 subtract 3x equals 3. Now, if it's similar to the last one, you want to get rid of this divide by 2 minus 3x. So what we're going to do is we're going to times both sides by 2 minus 3x. Now we'll just get rid of it on this side, so we're just going to get x plus 1 on that side. On the other side, whenever you're timesing it by uh, 2 minus 3x, put it in brackets, so you get 3 bracket 2 minus 3x. Okay, so we've just times both sides by 2 minus 3x. Um, alternatively, you could think about just bringing it up and put it in a bracket. So instead of dividing by it on this side, we can times by it on that side. So expand out your bracket. So you're going to get x plus 1 equals 6 subtract 3 times uh, three times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3x would be 9x. Okay, so we've got x plus 1 equals 6 minus 9x. So let's add 9x to both sides to get rid of it on this side. So you're going to get 10x plus 1. We've added 9x onto this side. We're going to add 9x onto the side, so we're just going to be left with 6. We're then going to take away 1 from both sides to then get us 10x equals 5. And dividing by 10, now be careful here, 5 divided by 10 would be 0.5, so you're going to get x equals 0.5. We can check our answer if you want. Um, 0 0.5 plus 1 is 1 1.5, divided by 2 subtract uh, 3 times 1 point, uh, 0 0.5, which would be 0 0.5. And 1.5 divided by 0.5 would be 3. This time we've been asked to solve the equation 3x plus 1 divided by 2 subtract 2x plus 5 divided by 3 equals 1. We're going to have to simplify this left hand side first of all, so I'd recommend watching the video Algebraic Fractions Addition Subtraction uh, before you try this question. So let's do that. So we're going to have 3x plus 1 divided by 2 subtract 2x plus 5 divided by 3. So we're going to times top and bottom of this fraction by 3 and top and bottom of this fraction by 2. So times this by 3 would give you 3 bracket 3x plus 1 divided by 2 times 3 is 6 subtract uh, times this one by 2 would give you 2 bracket 2x plus 5 divided by uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Expanding the brackets would give you 9x plus 3 divided by 6, subtract, expand in the brackets, 4x plus 10 divided by 6. And let's just simplify it. So we're going to have all together 9x plus 3. And be careful here. Whenever you're doing subtract this, what you want to do is you want to put this in brackets. So subtract in brackets 4x plus 10. <clears throat> okay. So you've just got to be careful if you're subtracting a fraction so that you uh, include uh, all terms in the on the numerator in the bracket. So whenever you do that, it's going to give you uh, 9x plus 3. And then you're going to expand this bracket. So you're going to multiply this with minus 1 here, really. So you're going to times both of these by minus 1. So you're going to get minus 4x minus 10 divided by 6. And then simplifying this then would give you 9x take away 4x is 5x. And 3 subtract 10, it would be minus 7 divided by 6. So we know that this left-hand side is equal to 5x subtract 7 divided by 6. So what we're now going to do is we're now just going to write it instead. So instead of this, we're going to write 5x minus 7 divided by 6 equals 1. So we're going to times both sides by 6. So you're going to get 5x minus 7 equals 6. 
because times by six gets rid of the divide by six. Add on the add on seven to both sides, so you're gonna get five x equals thirteen. And then dividing by five, so you're just gonna do thirteen divided by five, so thirteen divided by five equals two point six. So x equals two point six. Okay, and this is our last question we're going to do. So we're going to do 5 divided by 2x plus 3 plus 6 divided by y plus 2 equals 3. So again, we want to simplify this left-hand side using algebraic fractions addition. And we're going to work out this as a single term. Then we'll uh, then solve it. Uh, before we do that, what I would do is um, I'm actually just going to simplify this first of all, and then I'll come back to this equation. Okay, so we're going to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by y plus 2 and top and bottom of this fraction by 2y plus 3. So we're going to get 5 bracket y plus 2 divided by 2y plus 3. Let's put that in brackets and we're going to times that by y plus 2. And then we're going to times top and bottom of this fraction by 2y plus 3. So we're going to get 6 bracket 2y plus 3. And on the denominator we're going to get 2y plus 3 times r y plus 2. So we we'll just times this by the 2y plus 3. Put them beside each other. Okay, uh, so let's just express that as a single fraction. So we're going to get 5 bracket y plus 2 plus 6 bracket 2y plus 3. And that's going to be all over 2y plus 3 bracket y plus 2. So let's expand out the top line. So we're going to get 5y plus 10 plus 12y plus 18, and we're going to divide that by, again, 2y plus 3, y plus 2. And we just simplify the top line, so 5y plus 12y is 17y, and 10 plus 18 is 28, and that's all over 2y plus 3, y plus 2. Okay, now we're going to go back to the question. So what I've done is I've replaced the algebraic, algebraic fraction addition and I've put in what we got whenever we worked it out. So we've got 17y plus 28 all divided by 2y plus 3, y plus 2 and that equals 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator. So if I multiply this side by the, that denominator it's just going to cancel out with the divide by so you're just going to be left with 17y plus 28. Whenever I times this side by the denominator it's just going to give me 3 bracket 2y plus 3 bracket y plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand out our brackets using FOIL. We're going to times it by 3 and then we'll bring everything over to one side and then factorize and solve that quadratic. So let's expand out the brackets we're going to get and this side's still going to be 17y plus 28 equals 3 and then I'll just put in brackets what I get when I expand it. So 2y times y is 2y squared. 2y times 2 would be plus 4y, two, uh, 3 times y would be plus 3y, and 3 times 2 is 6. So what we get is we get 17y plus 28 equals 3 bracket 2y squared plus 7y plus 6. So let's times that by 3. So we're going to get 17y plus 28 equals 6y squared plus 21y, plus 18. Okay, so let's bring everything over to one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring everything over to the side. So we're going to get, um, just to keep our y squared positive, so we're going to get 0 equals 6y squared, plus 21y, plus 18. Uh, or when I say bring everything over, we could just subtract our 17y and our 28 from both sides. Uh, same thing. So we're going to get minus 17y, minus 28. Whenever we simplify that, we get uh, 6y squared, 21 take away 17y would be plus 4y, and 18 subtract 28 would be minus 10. So we just need to factorise this now. Actually, before factorising it, because they're all even, you can divide through by 2 because it equals 0. So then that would give you 0 equals 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. Okay, so trying to factorise this, we know it equals 0. I've put 3y and y at the front of both brackets because you've got your 3y squared. Uh, because they're going to times together to give you minus 5, and whenever you expand and simplify them, you're going to get 2y. I'm thinking I'm going to put um, minus 1 here, 
and plus 5 here. Let's just check it. 3y times, or 3y times y would be 3y squared. 3y times minus 1 would be minus 3y plus 5y would be 2y. And, yeah, fantastic. So what we're going to do is we then know that because these two things times together to give you 0, that either this one is 0 or this one is 0. So we're going to get 3y plus 5 equals 0. Or, this one's quite easy, y equals 1. So we just need to solve this. So uh, take away 5 from both sides gives you 3y equals minus 5. Dividing by 3 gives you y equals minus 5 over 3. So there's our two solutions y equals minus 5 over 3, or y equals 1.